The Honorable Adam takes the bench, and this time C Smash VRS is on the stand to determine if it's a worthwhile PSVR 2 game, and it's valued at $27. The first piece of evidence I bring to the jury is this game gets an F, an F for fun. Fun, Alex. Similar to the lore of the Siren Song, it's so difficult to find nowadays, yet we can't get enough. After mere minutes of playing C Smash VRS, you're injected with a concoction of addictive gameplay, pelvis bumping music, and a touch that feels better than your own grandmother's. Fun can be indescribable. Sometimes you can't accurately say why something is fun, but it just is. C Smash has amazing controls, simple gameplay, a gratifying sense of accomplishment, and simply puts a smile on your face. Many PSVR 2 games are good, but very, very few are fun. This game is fun, which immediately makes it stand out upon the ranks, and why I am charging you with six counts of this game gets an F, an F for fun. And on these counts, I do find you guilty. Okay, Adam, you you're kind of a sporto dude. You're athletic, and you like these active games. I, I just I know that about you. I'm not a, as athletic, um, and I don't like these active games quite as much as you. Although I did play C Smash, and I had had a good time uh, playing a little bit. How much do you think this game is fun for you because you like this active athletic type stuff? I mean, you immediately. We're like rearranging furniture, if I recall, to like get the full room scale movement going on. Do you think just your your proclivity to play like a really active game is what makes it fun? I don't think it is because I do like being active. However, I am hesitant to do that type of stuff in the headset. It's very easy to punch your lamp or the wall or the aquarium, all three things that I have done. It's also very easy to sweat hard. So I try to normally stay away from being too active in these games, but C Smash 1 is active. It is fun, but the room scale is game changing. It is a game breaker. I am, you're right, I cleared out areas in my room that I am physically running back and forth. And it's awesome. No other game has allowed me to move in real life to play the game as it's intended to like this. I know room scale helps with other games, Zenith, Resident Evil, a host of others. None of them have the feel of C smash and really utilizes the ability to move around like it does. It's, it's awesome. So I think whether you're athletic or not, you do have to watch the sweat factor, but you're going to love it. I think whether, cause you don't have to be athletic to be good at this. Yeah, and I will say you can't do all the movement with analog sticks too. I mean, True. aside from like hitting things with your with your uh, board, um, but you can move. Le- all you're doing in the game is moving left and right, you know, squatting a little bit and stuff. But you can do all that with analog sticks. So it's you don't have to be athletic to enjoy. It, but I was just checking for you, Adam. If we have people who don't want to necessarily move around as much, um, how much that would affect their fun factor? Still fun. I would play it sitting down. I think I tried. No, I haven't tried. I played another game sitting down. Oh, Anyways, you, you should. Okay, our next charge. Is life, death, and not finding people online to play with. Any game that at least partially relies on the multiplayer for a niche market like PSVR 2 will struggle, and that's just providing adequate opponents for the gameplay. I played this prior to launch when content creators got review codes, and I couldn't find an opponent, which is fair. On opening day, I attempted to find opponents, no luck. And then the day after, on Saturday, I tried, no luck. I did play multiplayer with Alex and our friend Shafe Dog, and it was incredible. The multiplayer is amazing. There are four modes where you either hit each other like dodgeball, you can hit squares that enclose your enemy closer and closer, you can try to rack up the high score, or just simply try to get the ball past your opponent. There's great variety, and it's really fun. However, you got to have people to play those games with. And I'm not going to lie, either the game is working on, you know, the matchmaking and there's something lacking there. There's an issue or there's simply a lack of players on launch day. And that does scare me a bit. I mean, it's launch day, the day after when you would think 
maybe I'm wrong. I would think has the highest number of new players wanting to play. I will admit the Reddit community does a wonderful job. They always have, they choose a day and play a certain game like C smash Saturdays or something like that. I'm sure that will happen with C smash that will help alleviate that problem, but still something to know if you were considering it, especially if you are listening to this months after the release because of that. And on that charge of life, death, and not finding people online to play with, I find you guilty. Mm, that's the that's a dangerous thing about these kind of multiplayer games, especially the active ones, right? Is finding people to play with. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't think this is out on any other systems, right? So we can't Correct. even hope for cross-play. Um, <clears throat> although but, I will hey, say do we even want others to get it? Like, I kind of, I know this isn't a huge hitter. I like the idea that this is PSVR exclusive. Like, I've got something that, hey, you can't have on the Quest. I don't know why I care. I shouldn't care, but it, it's just kind of nice. I don't know. It justifies your purchase, right? Like, we have, this is the reason I chose this console for my VR. Um, I get C Smash, and it, it is whatever you say it's a very high quality game it's very fun to play and the multiplayer is great i mean i don't even really like pickleball that much which is what this is kind of like or or a uh, racquetball yeah like either that. but i have fun playing it here the game modes like you mentioned like i love the one where you're hitting the colored squares like you're competing it's almost like a reverse tug of war you're competing to hit these colored squares to kind of smush your opponent um I didn't get to play the dodgeball, but we just played like a normal game. And that was fun too. Even though I'm like, you're wiping the floor with me, I'm still having a good time. And the really nice thing is you're not having to chase after the balls or anything if they get lost, which is like the worst part about racquetball. I suck at it. So I'm always just having to chase and find the ball because I screw it up. So um, yeah. Good thing you're, you're good at finding balls. That's a good thing though. <laughs> just keeping my hands on them for a long time is rough. So moving to the final charge, the charge of... a. C Smash must be a baker because variety is the spice of life. Variety is an essential aspect to gameplay, and C Smash has a ton of it. I already discussed the multiplayer modes here. There are four in total, and you can quickly hop on from one to another. They are fun, fast-paced. Also, the game doesn't make you just stand around waiting for someone to join your game. You can go and there's like a little area you can actually play C Smash while you're waiting for the opponent to show up. That I think is really neat. So you're never truly waiting. But there's also a single player journey mode. This spices up the racquetball s gameplay by letting you pick your orbit and levels that range in difficulty and each has different power-ups that you can achieve. There are five orbits and then... And I almost hate to spoil this, but there is an end boss, which personally I was not expecting at all. But it's so cool to be in the spaceship. You're seeing these ships fly by. There's astronauts in the window and they're rooting for you and jumping up and down. They're swimming through space. And between the two modes, there's a ton of variety among and within C Smash, and it's such an easy pick up and play game that I am absolutely certain I will be playing for months and months, if not for years. So on the charge of C Smash must be a baker because variety is the spice of life. I find you. That's guilty. Mm. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, I played journey mode a little bit while I was waiting for you to get on so we could play multiplayer. I didn't get too far into it, but like you mentioned, I had a really good time. I mean, it gives you like an A, B, C rank and stuff, depending on how quickly you clear through the levels, which is nice. And I also heard that they're working on um, more modes, more single player modes, like a co-op mode. Oh, um, oh yeah, that's right. See, so, oh my, that I didn't even, I didn't put that in the review. Oh my gosh, that is going to be, that's sick. That is yeah. sick. And get then me, like get a, me an antibiotic because I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> they have like an infinity mode, I guess, which is probably just like journey mode that doesn't end, which if you're just trying to like zone out and play some C Smash, that'd be really good. I yeah. Mean, that's the thing is these fitness type games, right? This game's not explicitly a fitness game like some of the other ones, but these games that get you active and moving, they get really popular in VR because they're really fun and you can kind of be as active as you want to with it. So I, assuming they didn't release any more of these modes, which they've already said they're going to, does that change your opinion of, you know, the the variety in the single player, the content in the single player? I don't think I, I, I played a freaking demo for like three months. Right. <laughs> so like to have this journey mode, additional 
modes will be very a welcomed addition. Don't get me wrong. But I think there's enough there that I, I wouldn't mind. I wish there was a way to add bots in the mm-hmm. game somehow. Yeah. Or even, I mean, it doesn't even have to be in the shape of a person. It could just be like a little robot guy or something. Because the multiplayer game modes are really fun. And it's a shame you have to have someone else with you to play those. Just make bots and have a different level. Like, I, I don't know. That may be more difficult than me. Obviously not a coder or just saying it. But that will be a welcome addition regardless. I find that there's enough variety here. For me personally, for that $27, I still think it's a buy for me. All right. So, what, a, what about your final verdict, Adam? Well, see, Smash, I am judging you on whether you are a worthy uh, adversary or a worthy game to play for the PSVR 2, worthy of that $27 price tag I mentioned, and more importantly, worth the player's time. And due to the evidence I have laid out before you, I find you. Guilty.